Okay, as usual, let's begin with the vocabulary. The first vocabulary word or phrase is die out. Die, that's a sad word, right? It means something stops living. But when you talk about a whole group of things, like a, maybe a whole species or maybe many individuals in a large group, they all die at the same time. You can say to die out. Die out means to become less in number and finally stop existing. Do you know that more than 90% of all living species that lived on the earth have died out in history. Isn't that amazing? We are very lucky to be alive, but there are many, many animals that we've never seen before that lived on the earth a long, long time ago and they all died out. But wouldn't it be cool, wouldn't it be fascinating to see some of these animals? All we can look at are their fossils. Okay, let's continue. Bury. Bury means to put something under the ground, right? If you dig a hole in the ground, you put something in the hole and you put earth on top of it, that means to bury, to bury. Sometimes things just get buried naturally too. Rot. Ugh. It's a smelly word, okay? When something rots, it becomes softer and slowly breaks down. Usually a dead thing will rot. Like in this case, we see a dead fish. A dead fish on the beach, the sun will hit it. Um, the air, you know, will ch make it change. It slowly breaks down. It smells terrible, right? But it slowly breaks down and breaks down, breaks apart, and it becomes part of the soil. We covered that in, the, uh, in a previous lesson. So rot means to become soft and slowly break down. So not just animals, but also any fruit or vegetable. A lot of the food that you eat, you know, you throw it away. Where does it go? You know, if you throw it away uh, on the land, it will rot and go back into the soil. And that's good for the soil. But a lot of food waste winds up in other places as well. You know, hopefully we can recycle it and use it to make better soil. But that's a different unit. Okay, rot. Remains. What is rotting? Well, the remains of an animal or a plant are rotting. The remains are the parts of something left after the rest has disappeared. So, in this case, we can see what looks like a cow. The cow died in the field. It started to rot. And what re all the meat, all the flesh has rotted away. What remains? Some of the skin, the hide of a cow, and the bones. The bones are very tough and strong material. So they are the last to rot and go away. Print. A print is a mark left on a surface made by an object pressed into it. What does that mean? Well, think about uh, a, a, uh, a, a ground that's soft, it's like mud, right? And let's say I take my hand, right, and I push it into the mud and I let go. What do I see? I see an outline or a print of my hand, right? So if I push the mud and let go, right, I make a mark in the mud. And that is a print. That's a hand print, right? But of course, many things that die in soft soil like mud or uh, clay will leave a print. It will leave an outline of the shape. Hmm, interesting. Next, we have fossil. Now, the fossil is the hard print of an animal or plant found in a rock, right? We just learned print, right? And I told you, if you push your hand into mud, right, and then let go, you have an outline of your hand. Now, let's say that mud dries, right? And then another material fills your handprint, a softer material, right? And over a long time, and then more, then the print and all the material is buried under lots of rock, and there's lots of pressure, right? Well, that mud will turn into rock, but that mud still carries your handprint, right? So thousands of years, 
hundreds of thousands of years, millions of years later, maybe that mud turns into rock because a lot of material is on top of it. It gets buried and it turns into hard rock. And millions of years ago, may, uh, millions of years later, maybe somebody moves the rock away and they see, oh, there's a handprint there. It could be your handprint. Amazing. <laughs> okay, so that's a fossil, right? It's the hard print of an animal or plant found in a rock that is formed over thousands, hundreds of thousands, even millions of years. Very interesting. Okay. Dinosaur. Now, like I said before, a lot of animals that lived on the earth have died out a long, long time ago. Dinosaurs lived on the earth 65 million years and earlier uh, on the earth. There were many kinds of dinosaurs, big dinosaurs, small dinosaurs, very uh, ferocious, uh, scary dinosaurs, and some small dinosaurs that were cute. Uh, and probably were, we thought, oh, yeah, that would make a good pet, but maybe not. <laughs> but anyway, there are many species of dinosaurs living on the earth millions and millions of years ago, before 65 million years ago. And it was, dinosaurs are a type of reptile. Reptile is like a lizard. In fact, dinosaur is Greek. In Greek, dinosaur means terrible lizard. So terrible lizard. Think about that. Of course, if you saw the picture, this looks like a Tyrannosaurus rex. Really tall, big teeth, sharp claws. Oh my gosh, yes, that is a terrible lizard. Okay, so dinosaur is a type of reptile lived millions of years ago. Okay, our last word or phrase is dry out dry out, to become very dry. It means all the water leaves something. Remember the example I just gave you? You put your hand in mud. Well, the mud is wet. There's a lot of water in the mud. That's why you can push your hand into the mud. But imagine you do that and then it doesn't rain for a long time and that the sun's very hot and the sun dries out all the mud. So all the water comes out of the mud and the mud becomes hard. So that means to become dry. When there's no moisture, no rain, things will dry out. Okay, those are our words for the lesson today. Lesson 7 Fossils. Die out. To become less in number and finally stop existing. Bury. To put something under the ground. Rot. To become softer and slowly break down. Remains. The parts of something left after the rest has disappeared. Print. A mark left on a surface made by an object pressed onto it. Fossil. The hard print of an animal or plant found in rock. Dinosaur. A type of reptile that lived millions of years ago. Dry out. To become dry.